Sean Mathis here. I am the founder of Miles Through Time Automotive Museum, and it's been a while since I've given anybody a tour of the museum, since we've expanded a couple times. So first of all, there's the red doors that get you into the museum once you walk into, at the uh, beginning, it's Vintage Garage Antiques, and that's where, you see, that's where you get your admission to the museum. And then you're directed through the red doors, which then brings you directly into the museum. Once you go through there, the first thing you'll see is this blacksmith shop. And then you get taken into the town. And in the town, we've got a, this is what we call the Model T dealership. And the town is literally a town. We got a bank and dry goods store and a general store, even a jail and a barber. So that's pretty cool, right? All this was built out of reclaimed and recycled materials. Uh, Executive Director Truett Phillips, this is uh, all out of his mind and his uh, skill level to build all this kind of stuff. So it's pretty neat. This is the first thing that visitors see in here. Um, and then you've got a replica of the Phillips 66 filling station. And we've got an old Coca-Cola diner down there, which is actually Donna's diner. Um, over here, we are accumulating stuff for our shop. Um, this will actually get built out quite a bit more um, with a faux wall on the bottom and up high, and that will just be uh, a shop. Um, so you'll see the, the 227 sitting in there. Uh, that'll be pretty neat. So this is essentially gallery one. Uh, once you turn the corner here, then you find yourself in gallery two. Gallery two is the rest of the museum that uh, was the entire museum when we first moved into the museum, or into this building, I should say. Um, in gallery two, it consists, at the moment anyways, we've got our Model A's and uh, 1920s. So we got the A's there, and then this is a whole row of 1920s. Uh, you got the Tom Ash collection back there. That's one of the most substantial model car collections we have on display. That's over uh, four or 500 different Franklin Mint and Danbury Mint cars. Um, in the background here, this is the uh, Gary Russeth collection. This is pretty cool. This is, uh, uh, these are all full size wooden sculptures of real cars. And then you've got the General back there. That's a half scale, all wood version of the General, uh, which is a real train, but it is also made famous from the movie, The Great Locomotive Chase. You'll see a 150 of these wooden tender, or uh, 150 of the wooden logs in there, in the tender. And Gary made every single one of these things, and it's, it's impressive, it's pretty awesome. So here's the train. He made every single one of these. And so then you've got, you know, you've got the original Model A, uh, Old, Oldsmobile Curve Dash back there. Um, you've got the Stanley Steamer. The Maxwell is the only one that's unpainted. Uh, I like the Studebaker Electric, it's super neat. Um, and then you got the uh, 1907 Buick Model G. And then this Model T is actually the most realistic looking one. Uh, that thing's pretty sweet. The Mathis is awesome. It's the only one in the country. Um, then we got, let's see, the Helica. That was brought over here from uh, Jeff Lane from Lane Motor Museum. Um, and then the other thing that we've got is our racing section over here. So that's the, the racing corner of Miles Through Time. Uh, and then opposite of that is our Studebaker exhibit. So here we've got a couple Studebakers and a Packard at the moment. The two Studebakers have been donated to the museum. The Avanti came from the Studebaker National or the National Studebaker Museum. And then the Golden Hawk was donated to us by Dr. Carl Peace. So originally the museum ended at this wall where this red pump is was the door door would then take you into gallery three. Uh, or actually, I should say when the door was there, it, you exited the museum. Now the door is gone. Uh, we took a section of the wall down and this is gallery three. This is our first expansion in here. 
In here consists of the micro cars that came from Lane Motor Museum. Um, here you'll see the DeLorean and the Bricklin. Uh, we've got our motorcycles and pedal cars and bicycles. Uh, we've got some British convertibles at the moment and you'll see the uh, Porsche 356s we've got on display. Uh, and again, this is what's in here now. Uh, no guarantee how long it'll stay in here unless it's been donated to the museum. So like this TR6, uh, that is the museum's that was donated to us. So it'll always be in here. How it's displayed will most likely change over time. And then you've got our concept car. That is a Ford Gia Arioso. That's the only one in the world. Then you've got the two Clemson Orange or uh, Clemson University Deep Orange Project cars. Those were both donated to the museum. Uh, and then you've got the military area in here. The military area is going to always be military, but the, what is on display will change. So at the moment, we've got a Studebaker Weasel. DKW Manga, this is a, a Ford script, which looks like a Willy. And then you've got the uh, Kuba wagon back there. And then you'll also see in the back there right now is the Japanese cars we have on display. Now the latest expansion is this hole here. This takes you into gallery four. Gallery four consists of our muscle cars, big sedans, um, and the Cannonball collection at the moment. So in here is pretty cool. Uh, we can hold about 45 cars in here. Um, at the moment, I think we've got 36 in here because a few of them have left and then we've got room for a few more to come in. This one here though, this one, Shelby Series 1, just came in today. So that's how quickly it changes in here. Gallery four is also our largest gallery out of all four of them. Uh, we basically took a the big section in the old mill and turned it into one of our galleries and haven't really done much else with it other than put some cars in here. There's my Pop 59 Cadillac. Um, that exit there, uh, that is where we can bring cars directly in and out of the museum at this point. Here's some of the current Cannonball cars that are on display. Um, some of the trucks, we really don't have a whole lot of trucks at the moment. Um, no particular reason other than people like to, to drive the trucks. The library, the Shelby's, the conference room over here. Yeah. Even got a uh, firefighter exhibit here, it's pretty cool. Exit is always something that is difficult to find for some people. Here it is.